Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Today, I decided to go live in concern of various facts and myths about collagen. The main reason is that one of my patient asked about what type of collagen she can use, which she saw on social media. So I need an expert of collagen. And I asked one of my friends to come over here to this platform he is Dr. Phil. Let me add him first. Hello, we have a Dr. Phil with us. He is a <laughs> functional medicine doctor practicing in Texas and he's also a chiropractor plus an ex-pilot. So I welcome Dr. Phil and it's my honor to share this platform with you. Well, thank you. Okay. Very, very, thank you very much, Dr. Riddy, Tanasia. It's an honor to be here, you guys. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, again, honored to be here, you guys. We're going to talk about some exciting things we're going to really help clarify a lot about collagen and hyaluronic acid today because it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere, um, and you're in good hands because um, Dr. Riddy and I, we met a while ago, and wow, has she impressed me. She has an incredible resume. She's the founder of uh, Elite Aesthetica. She is a general dentist. She is a certified medical cosmetologist, so she loves helping people look their best. And in turn, you know what, when you look your best, you feel your best. Isn't that the truth? Um, she also has training post-grad from uh, New in Auckland, New Zealand to you guys. So she's traveled around, she's been around the world and she has specialty, so many degrees. <laughs> I thought I have a lot of degrees. She's degreed in health sciences, post-grad from there. Wow. And, and she's so um, compassionate. She loves helping people because she loves working with special needs children too. So sorry there, uh, Dr. Riddy, I had to, had to boost you up a little bit, but um, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me very much. It's an honor. Welcome Dr. Phil. Today I have a couple of questions for you. So here I go. So the first one is that, why is collagen and hyaluronic acid so important when it comes to healthy aging? Absolutely. So, you know, collagen and hyaluronic acid, or it's a mouthful to say hyaluronic acid, you guys. It's a substance in the body. Um, we'll just say HA for short. If that's okay with you guys, we'll make it short and sweet HA because um, I start when I start talking. Collagen and hyaluronic acid, or HA, are the two most abundant substances in the body. There is, there is no, no more other substances in the body that are more abundant than those two. They make up every single organ, every tissue in your body. And whenever you have collagen, you have hyaluronic acid right there around it. It's kind of like a brick and mortar when it comes to like a wall. If you want to use that analogy where collagen would be like the bricks and the hyaluronic acid fills in around the bricks in the wall like mortar. And that's kind of how our body works. So it's HA is like a glue, but we're going to learn it's really critical. Um, because collagen is responsible for creating tensile strength, so toughness. So a lot of people have heard the term collagen when it comes to your skin. That's a big one. So what it does is collagen fibers, collagen strands, they're very, very strong. Uh, they hold tensile strength in our joints, in our organs, in our bones, but also our skin. So it's kind of like a trampoline effect. So if we were to push down on the trampoline, if we can use that analogy, collagen is responsible for helping it spring back up. And we want that nice, at least in our skin, because we're talking about aesthetics here, but we're also going to talk about some joint uh, discomfort, hurts and aches in our body. But collagen helps bring that tensile strength back into the skin. Hyaluronic acid, very, very critical, very, very critical because it holds up to 1,000 times its own weight in water. Wow, that's a lot. So what it does is, you know, and I'm sure most people have been told, and Dr. Riddy, I'm sure you say the same thing, make sure you drink lots of water with your patients. Right. And water is critical for good health, 
but we also need hyaluronic acid to pull in water into those critical tissues. So it draws and holds the water into our skin, giving it, and what it does when it's in our skin is it firms, fills, and hydrates, and plumps. I'll say that again, firms, fills, hydrates, and plumps. That's HA, that's what it does when it's in an absorbable form. And it lubricates our joints. So when we hurt, we get stiff, we ache. That's because we're losing HA. And the last thing I'll say about that is we begin, so for all of us who are wondering, it's like, well, what's going on with my collagen? What's going on with my hyaluronic acid? Well, for the general population, for most of us, we start losing <laughs> collagen between ages 25 to 27. That's when we start having a net loss. Up until that point, we're really kind of building collagen up in our body, most of us, okay? We're building it up, but after 25, 27, we're starting to lose it, so it's a good idea to be getting collagen. We're gonna talk about this though, getting collagen into your body. Hyaluronic acid, on the other hand, kind of a sadder story. We start losing it immediately from birth. So when we're a baby, we actually have the most HA in our body, and the enzymes that break it down start kicking in, and we unfortunately start to lose it. So they say we start to lose our hydration, and we start to dehydrate at a younger age, and as we get older. So that's kind of the story about collagen and hyaluronic acid. Yeah. And yeah, the one thing I also want to add is that there are most important different types of collagen. And there's like type one, type two, and type three. Yeah. Do you want to, you know, elaborate a little bit about them as well? About yes. the collagen one type yeah. Yeah, sure. Great, great question. Um, again, showing how, how knowledgeable you are on the subject. So a lot of people, we're starting to see, in, at least in the United States, you guys, I'm here in Austin, Texas, in the United States. I've been practicing here for a while. We see collagen products everywhere, okay? We see them advertised on our TV. We see them on the shelves in our stores. Collagen was not a thing as, as recently as 2010, 2011. Now it's exploded. And we're seeing all these different types of, and, I, and you can attest to what you see in India and from your friends in New Zealand and all over Europe. I, in Europe, we're starting to see a lot more collagen products, but people get, you know, they're like, well, I see all these collagen types. Type, this one's got type one, this one's got type four, type eight, type 10. Like people are kind of, ah, what, this is confusing. What do I need? What, what's the most important? So the most important collagen types are types one, two, and three. So types one, two, and three. And you're like, well, why? Why are types one, two, and three the most important? Because that makes up roughly 90% of your body's entire collagen network that you have in your body. So 90% of you, your collagen, all your collagen are types one, two, and three. So it's not, and here's the other catch. It's not just enough to be taking types one, two, and three, but you have to have something, you want to have something or else you're throwing away your money. I'm I don't like spending money on things that don't work, you know, even though it says things, but you want to have it say proven, proven to elevate, proven to elevate types one, two, and three. And that's critical. And that's, that's what I use. That's what I use. That's what you discovered too, uh, because that makes up types 90% uh, of your collagen. And the last thing I'll say on that, on collagen types, is that how it breaks down in your body. And people go, well, well what does what? Well, types one and three are primarily for hair, skin, and your nails. So hair, skin, and your nails, types one and three. Type two is the one that's really missing in a lot of products today. That, that's basically for your joints and connective tissue. Joints and connective tissue. When you hear that word connective tissue, it's like, well, what's that? So that's really your tendons, your ligaments, the discs. You got discs in your jaw, discs in your spine, discs in your knee. Um, all of that, the stuff that's holding your joints and you together, that's called connective tissue, your fascia too. So it helps support, repair, heal, and grow those things. So that's why we want to have those others. The other collagen types, even we're up to, I think, type 26, that's just a small, it's all 10%, all that stuff. They're going to keep discovering more collagen types. It's types one, two, and three. You want to have it proven to elevate those three types. Does that help? Yeah, one more thing I want to add is that like before buying the collagen, always check how many trials have been made on that particular product. Yeah. 
very that important. Is, yeah. So what about hyaluronic acid? Why is it important so much? Sure. And, I'm, and before I answer the hyaluronic acid, I want to elaborate on that because, I mean, Dr. Tunisia here is a scientist. Uh, I, you know, I am too. And what she talked about, this ingredient that we use to help our clients and patients look younger and feel younger and have less hurts and aches and in India, less pain in their body. Here in the United States, pain is a little bit of a regulated term medically. So we have to, uh, we, we say discomfort, but in India, this is proven to reduce joint pain as it is in Europe. Okay. So uh, we're putting that out there, but um, it, 37 clinical trials, this has 37 clinical trials with this ingredient studied. And in Canada, it's even used to treat arthritis. So I just want to put that out there. It's part of the Health Canada system. So this is a medically approved ingredient. And folks, so if you're learning this, you want questions, you have questions, so I'm sure you will, reach out to Dr. Riddy. And she asked about hyaluronic acid. So one of the things, uh, you know, taking hyaluronic acid is critical. And it, it plumps firms and hydrates. So I talked about earlier how it draws in water. And that's what's critical. And when we take this, okay, the problem, again, like collagen, is that hyaluronic acid is a really large molecule, and it has to be shrunk. Again, that's the problem that they don't tell you. And they don't tell you that, most of these collagen companies, because people are already buying. They hear collagen, they hear hyaluronic acid, and they go, oh, that's going to be good for my hair. That's going to be good for my skin. That's going to be good for my joints. I'm just going to go buy it. But it's kind of a sneaky trick. It's misleading because what they aren't telling you is it has to be modified. It's very hard to modify. And Dr. Riddy knows this because if you don't modify it, it has to be injected or you don't get it in your, in your skin. You don't get it in your joints. So what we use has been modified. And hyaluronic acid has to be modified too, shrunk. And, and when you do, it's going to pull in water and firm fill and hydrate. And one of the th things that this can make this, this claim with this hyaluronic acid ingredient that we use, that's blended in, it's blended into this, is it was proven to elevate your hyaluronic acid levels 6,000%, 6,000%. If you're watching, you're watching this on the replay, you're watching this live, drop that in the comments because there is no medical procedure, there is no drug, there is no therapy in the world that can make a claim like that besides this ingredient proven to elevate your hyaluronic acid levels 6,000% after 28 days. And again, so that way you're, you're delaying that, hydra that dehydration effect in your body. You're gonna keep your skin more resilient, more plump, more firm, and we want that, we're hydrating. And then you're gonna feel it in your joints. And it's important to consider, and we'll mention this again, but your whole body's aging, right? I mean, we know when we go out, our face gets exposed to the sun more, our hands, things that are, might be open, but the whole body is aging. So doesn't it make sense to maintain your whole body and make it look as, as the best it can, as young as it can at any age? I think so. That the answer is yes for me. So, yeah. yeah and Did the big tip is that we cannot hold water in our body without hyaluronic acid. Right. Exactly. That's, that's the key is, again, going back to what Dr. Vridi said is we lose our HA from birth. Uh, immediately from birth and we lose that hydration. So it's important to replenish HA. But here in the United States, I can't speak for India, but we have all these companies coming out with HA products and they are not modified. They're called, there's a little bit of science. I'm going to keep, I'm a Marine. I like to keep things simple, but they're called high molecular weight. All that means is they're very large. They're too large to be absorbed and they put them in serums. And I, I have friends, I have girlfriends in the fashion industry, in the cosmetic industry. And like, I, see, I feel some effects with these products. That's because of the other ingredients that they're putting in there. They're putting in oils, they're putting in vitamins, they're putting in other things. It's not the hyaluronic acid absorbing through the skin because it's too big. It's, it's a form, it's a patented form. It's called low molecular weight. What does that mean? It's confusing. It means it's the right size. They shrunk it down to the optimal, not just the right, but the optimal size so that when you take it orally, or you put it topically on your skin, you actually absorb it. And with this form that we're using, that you're using, I'm using, it absorbs under the tongue. This is a claim. 
that you, we can make, no other collagen, no other hyaluronic acid, when you put it in your mouth, it begins to absorb under the tongue sublingually. So again, they, they nailed it. They got the right size with it. Yeah. Yeah. And one more question I have is that, does taking collagen in hyaluronic acid helps us with our aging skin and joints? Yes. And yeah. One oh, go more. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Whosoever is live, they can just you know mention in the comment. Are they using collagen, or they want to know anything? They can comment below. Sure. Yeah. yeah throw a comment in anytime. So is the the question is does it help with our aging? Is that what you're saying? Yes. You're sure. saying, yeah. Yeah. It it does. It helps out uh, as long as it's modified for absorption. If it's not modified, we're not absorbing it. And we're basically sending it out through the bowel. And that's, that's, we're throwing away our money. Here in the United States, we have a funny expression that you're pooping your money away. And so it's kind of literal in this sense. You're taking it and it never leaves the digestive tract. It just goes through there because it's too big. The collagen and the HHA, because we now have internal collagen, I'm sorry, hyaluronic acid powders in addition to collagen powders and other liquids, but we're basically, it never leaves the intestinal tract and then it goes out. Um, you know, the, you gotta have that, that absorption factor figured out. And again, I think this is an important aspect of our anti-aging experience because if people go in to see you, Dr. Tanisha, you're injecting, you're working locally, you're working primarily in the face, right? Is where you, most of your yeah, clients are. So again, why not do things like my friend who's a plastic surgeon? He says, if you're going to have cosmetic work, if you're going to spend this money, and it's not exactly cheap, right, to have these cosmetic procedures, these are elective procedures, you want to preserve and protect that as much as you can. Now, I'm a guy, and I like, you know, some of the things I like are cars. If I go out and buy a nice car, I'm not going to just let it sit in the sun and get dirty and rusty. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to maintain it. I'm going to wax it. I'm going to polish it. I'm going to protect it and preserve it. And that's what my friend, Dr. Grazer, says all the time. He's a plastic surgeon. If you're coming in for this work, you want to protect it, preserve it, make it last longer, make it last better. And that's what we can do with something that's proven. And so, so it's, it does affect the aging. It delays the aging when you have it in a form that you can absorb. And it's proven to elevate those three collagen types. And then, of course, there's nothing out there that can make this hyaluronic acid claim other than what we're using here with our clients and patients to help them. So it delays the aging experience and reverses it to an extent. So, yeah. Yeah, even I have learned in, in my research paper of public health that the holistic approach is always helpful. So, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. So how like how important to address aging this way like with proper use of collagen and hyaluronic acid on a regular basis so it's, it's yeah it's it's kind of like what we talked about right um you know the, well so there's a couple things going on that are big trends in in healthcare. one is minimalism or we call it skinimalism people don't want to put on tons of stuff on their body so this really embraces more of a skinimalistic approach. That's kind of the term, which is a minimal approach to putting things on your skin to make you look and feel better, okay? Um, the other thing, again, we talked about earlier, which is kind of nice, so we're just really emphasizing it, is your whole body's aging. It's not just aging at the injection site, which is where you work, you know, where you put apply a cosmetic procedure with a cream or a, a scrub or something specific like that. Or you know, you're, yeah injection this works throughout the whole body and you know i have a lot of female clients and they bring in their before and after photos they like sharing results about uh you know the like other areas of the body right under the arms they're thinking here they're thinking thighs maybe with cellulite you know and i embrace body positivity don't get me wrong i'm not here I, 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 we all we're all aging right we just want to look and feel our best but they show how it improves some of the dimpling sites with that um, on their area around their thighs, on their knees, things like that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really embracing this whole notion that our entire body is aging. So it only makes sense to, to help support the body this way. And 
one of the other things that I keep hearing about people talk about, and I'm going to be going here, I have an appointment, <laughs> as I told you, uh, to see my hairstylist, is their hair. So your hair, hair growth with this. And by the way, I'm going to just throw a teaser in here. Um, if you're watching this in the United States, and I think it's going to be coming to India pretty soon too, they're having a microbond hair products coming in, a shampoo and conditioner with this ingredient in it too. So, but what we're talking about is the internal here, but it does support hair growth and people show their before and after photos with I that have, too. Uh, those products are also available in New Zealand? Yes, I believe they are. It's certainly in Europe. They had a big launch in Europe. So if you're watching this on Dr. Tunisia's uh, Instagram and you're in Europe, you got to reach out to her and talk about it. I have to double check there, but I think they might have them launched over there in the Australia, New Zealand markets too. So, yeah. Thing. like many of the people ask me that what all these collagen products they see do they really work and how they can choose it yeah excellent excellent so uh, i think what we're really talking about here is we see all these products now on the market right we Don't see you? yeah i see you have to them all. i know we put this uh, you know this is an interesting question we're talking about it now but it's really it's almost like the most important question to ask because we see all these collagen and hyaluronic acid products, L'Oreal, Vital Proteins, they all have these different, these are brand names in the United States. Um, and some of these have made uh, impact over in mainland Europe and different areas of the world. But we have, they're ubiquitous. Again, because people hear the word collagen, they hear the word hyaluronic acid, and they go, oh, I'm gonna buy that, I'm gonna go get it. And then they start price shopping and they think it's, it's the same, like apples to apples, orange, and it's not. Because again, we talked about the main issue that they're not, I call it the dirty secret that the health, beauty and cosmetic industry isn't telling people is that it has to be modified. So all these products out there, let's talk about collagen first. Let's just, we'll do collagen and hyaluronic acid. Collagen has to be shrunk. And if it's not, then we don't absorb it. Now, to be truthful, there are some companies, small portion of companies that are doing partial absorption steps. So some companies are doing partial absorption. Um, that's good. And some people get a, you know, a little bit of a result with something. But again, they're missing collagen types. We said the types one, two, and three. They aren't getting all of that. And the other thing is source. They're sourcing it from poor sources. You know, they're sort of, so what happens here in business, in agribusiness, is they want to more completely monetize the value of an animal if they're using it. So collagen, you cannot elevate it just by taking vitamins and amino acids. You have to actually consume collagen. And that's kind of a bummer for people who are vegetarians or vegans, but you have to actually consume it. And yeah. source, yeah, when, yeah. And when they take it from these other sources, what we call the throwaway parts of animals, that's the carcasses, yeah. the hooves. The even, hides, yeah, yeah, cows even, and pigs. Yeah, yeah, they claim that the plant-based collagen have an incredible results, but I think it's a myth. Absolutely, and there is no such thing as yeah. as 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 uh, vegan collagen. It's a term they're using it. It's just a product with amino acids and things that are all plant-based. But in, so, what does that do? Can those help? They can help delay the breakdown of collagen. So they can help slow the decline. But when we think of when we buy collagen products, we want a significant elevation. That's what people are thinking when they buy. So the only way to truly significantly elevate it is to take collagen, which is an animal protein, and you got to take it in absorbable form and you got to have the right types, types one, two, and three. So that's, that's the thing. And so all these other products are like hooves, hides, carcasses of cows and pigs, throwaway parts of animals. They don't really work and they're finding lots of contamination. We just had over here in the United States, they had to recall over 60,000 units just a couple of weeks ago of vital proteins. That's like one of the most big brand names here. They've been bought up. I, I can't think if Nestle owns them at the top. I think Nestle does, but they push them on the shelves everywhere and they found a lot of toxins in there. They're also seeing heavy metals, folks. And heavy metals are not good. They show up in these products. They create neurological issues, things like that. Um, so that's kind of collagen. Hyaluronic acid, again, similar problem, has to be shrunk and stabilized, has to be the optimal size, and they're all too big. So what we have here is that term, I used it earlier, you don't have to memorize it, just low molecular weight, it just means they shrunk it. They shrunk it to absorbable form, or if you use it topically, it'll actually go through the dermis of the skin, into the epidermis, and absorb 
and get down where it needs to go. Or if you take it orally, it reaches your target tissues. So and they're not doing that because they would say on the label, I, I read labels, I don't know about you, but I take products. Right. I like checking everything in the, in the cosmetic stores and the health stores. And I see, what do they have in this? And I wanna know, and I'll read it and I'll see what, where they source their hyaluronic acid from, things like that. So, yeah. I also recommend everyone that always check the ingredients pull up the bottle and see what's behind that yeah, yeah. absolutely well so dr think- do you what other you um did you have other questions you had things i know you've got a lot of knowledge in this um you know it's always it's always fun talking with really knowledgeable people anything else anything in the comments that came in while i was talking i'm just reading about the comments not people just i think they're not much people but i'm gonna upload it later and whosoever have any doubts or they can ask or can reach me or dr phil yeah let's so let me i'm gonna i want to really emphasize that you guys if you're watching this video you want to reach out to dr rudy if you're curious if you're a friend of hers if you're watching this on her timeline if you're watching online reach out to me we're happy to share information with you she has the answer. She can show you what she's using to help her clients. Yeah. I'm and get the, yeah, before and after. Before and after. And yeah, and you know, um, oh, that's great. Yeah, Dr. Reedy also has some before and after photos. She's going to put in the comments too. You can check out. These are taken from actual clients using the product on a timeline, usually no less than three months. So we recommend. You know, you don't want to be. You you want to encapsulate one complete skin cycle. That's important. And that changes a little bit as we age, what one's complete skin cycle is. It gets a little longer, but that's why we say if you take this, you want to take it for three months, no less than. That's your trial. And, and it's, you know, it's coming from something that's clean living. And I don't know if that's a big deal to, you know, it's, it's a real big deal here in the States. Yeah, people, it's a big deal for me. Yeah. yeah. People don't want to put, put things that are knowingly harmful, have harmful ingredients, even though it might make it smell better taste better, feel better initially. It's actually harming you or it's actually aging you, really. So people who are into safe, pure, tested, and proven effective, if that's your thing, then you gotta reach out to Dr. Reedy on this. And and I'm gonna add one more thing, because we talked about, you know, we talked about uh, collagen and source. Can I just talk about marine collagen? I I see questions on that oftentimes, because that's a source, is that okay? So we talked about some of the, the lesser quality sources like the, the bovine. If you see bovine, that's right. cow. If you see porcine, P-O-R-C-I-N, that's pig, okay? Those are, again, when we see that, we're thinking those throwaway parts of animals used for collagen, the hides, hooves, co- uh, snouts, yeah. things like that that they're using. <clears throat> Excuse me. When it comes to uh, marine, it's usually skins and scales of fish skins and scales of fish. And so now, to be honest, if if that is modified, if it's modified, people can get some changes in their skin, skin only, because marine is primarily type three, type three, but it plateaus quickly. So the results come, they might see some results if it's it's made absorbable again, that's the key. And then they can plateau very quickly. So you don't get the continual benefits. That's the challenge with marine, but not all marine is made that way to be absorbed. And the other challenge with marine, again, sea life today can come with a lot of contaminants, things like heavy metals, things that we talked about. Arsenic is a big one that's showing up in the, you know, so we talk about yeah, washing. Are, yeah, people who are pescatarians, be careful about how much, you know, sea life you consume because of those contaminants and things like that. So I just, just wanted to throw that out there because uh, that's a common question that we hear. So can get some results. But again, it plateaus, it's only type three. And what about types one and two? You wanna get types one and two in you. So that's why I like using what we have. So I think we had a great discussion. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again for having me, uh, Dr. Riddy. It's an honor to be here with you. I know how passionate you are about helping people. And, um, and uh, you know, again, if you're watching this, reach out to her. Ask her what she's doing. She's always doing exciting things. She's got an exciting Instagram. I love following her. I like seeing all the things she's doing in the office. And um, and thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Dr. Phil, for your time. I'm gonna upload this 
in my post and anybody who's have any question they can reach out to me or to dr phil see you everyone take thanks. care thanks for watching bye bye